Yo, what's up guys, we're gonna play some custom hero survival, we are playing with the ghoul. Chad told me to play ghoul. This is one of the worst heroes. He has a passive called Cannibal Frenzy, plus 12 attack damage and 100% uh, lifesteal. And on that plus 12 damage. So every hit I have like a flat, flat lifesteal, I guess is what it means. Mm. I'm gonna go for my classic strat. With the transmit earlier. So if you ever play this map, this um, transmit strat is just pretty good. You get these two spells, one is resetting the the cooldown of uh, last last casted spell and transmute is literally converting a creep into 500 gold plus the bounty of the creep so yeah it just it's pretty good it is uh, pretty good you can see like the good players all of them just abuse that and so called good players have also very good heroes like me. <laughs> Dude. How am I gonna play with a fucking ghoul? Like. Jesus Christ. But whatever. Uh, no, I don't wanna play caster. Uh, fucking. Uh, fuck the caster. Caster is boring. I always play caster. And you tell me, like, you chat, you tell me every time I play with the same shit caster build. So no, we are going. We're going physical build. I'm just thinking how to play it. I exactly don't want to execute it. Maybe I'm gonna do something funny. And lose me flat, most likely. <laughs> but, alright, I'm thinking. So, his passive is blood, and it's related to lifesteal. Right? It's related to lifesteal. Hmm. Um, there is absolute blood. Increases the hero's strength for every blood spell it has. When the hero has restored a certain amount of hit points through lifesteal, it permanently gains bonus hit points. But it's like you gotta you gotta restore like five or ten k HP to get like one or two strength. So it is pretty bad. It is really bad. I'm gonna lie. I feel like I'm gonna level up, so I don't need to buy another intelligence. I mean, more mana. But it might be not true. Let's see. Will I level up? Yes, I, will. I did level up. Nice. Yeah, I don't know, dude. He has very bad strength growth. He has very bad agility growth. And he has very bad intelligence growth. This hero, by all definitions, by every player, can be called the most garbage hero possible. Normally, all the heroes, like even on melee, in melee maps, they have like... Um, 12, 20 damage or something like 10 damage plus their stats but my hero has exactly the damage value of my stats so his damage is like dude he's starting damage like, look at this Zezil right look at this Zezil guy he has the stats I mean he has the damage more than he has stats just my hero dude also I feel like the bandit dodged my transmute with the brink uh, can I leave the game? <laughs> can I just leave the game? You know how important it is to hit all the transmutes? And this dude just blinked and dodged it. I'm not gonna have enough gold for all my items right now for PvP. If this guy will buy the items that I buy and try hard the way I do with a proper hero. Man, I call the police, but it's really like... It's a disaster. We need more gold. Any spellcasters? Any spellcasters? Any spellers? I guess nah. Then Ankh of Reincarnation is better than Amulet of the Spell Shield. I don't see that motor heal that often. What bonus does it have? 
So the Tinker is one of the best heroes period because it gets bonus experience per level. And this thing is literally like, it is insane. This guy can get insane amount of levels. Um, and also, you know, like, there is a thing that you can sacrifice 20,000 experience to get permanently increased agility, like, intelligence and strength gain per level. So this guy can literally, like, abuse experience and stat gain. But he left the game, so he will not do that. Uh, Gran has, at the start of the combat, for every level he has 20 strength and 20 damage. On the start of the combat, like, against the creeps or the heroes, for plus 20. For every level, so like, at level, at level 8, he will literally gain 160 strength. 160 strength at level 8. Easy. I know, right? It's very easy. Alright, anyway, the build. If you gotta think about the build, boys. Because this is the time where I... When I will... Pick up my spells. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be like... Mega speed. Last breath. Yeah, I will, I will answer your question about the monster team soon. Uh, Divine Bubble. Uh, uh, okay, it's got to be a roar. It's got to be a roar now, right? Oh no, life steal. Yeah, life steal must have. Then, then roar, I guess. Yeah, roar is a must have. And I will have 4 slots. It feels like I forgot something, but I'm not exactly sure what. Like, I feel like Ensnare is good, but that's like, only against the caster builds. And I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna be a caster build or not. Uh, is it gonna be a caster build, man? Is it gonna be a caster build? Fuck me, but is it gonna be a caster build? Will, will these people will try to run away from me? Because if, I, if they will try to run away from me, I will need a snare. I don't know how good they are, to be honest. Red seems okay. Orange seems okay. Um... Two spells. Fuck it, let's try to get everything in. Let's try to get everything in. So now, pillage. Transmute. Actually, no, I'm, fi I'm fitting in everything. Am I, am I forgetting something? Looks like I'm actually not forgetting anything. Wait, why my transmute got reset? Okay, the bubble reset my... the, the, the cooldown resetter. What did I forget? It feels like I forgot something, but I can't, I can't like, uh, actually think of what I forgot. Incinerate. I will have spot for incinerate. Yeah, don't worry. Alright, no, I didn't forget about anything, I guess. But then why didn't I fit Holy Enlightenment in here? Ah, okay, whatever. If I fuck up this build, then whatever. Yeah, mega speed, this, 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 this. I have a screenshot of the same build for ranged. So I'm gonna look it up after this round. Okay, I did use it in time. Nice. Double transmute. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lots of, lots of pillage. Lots of pillage. Alright. 
So my beauty is... Don't mind that it's so dark. Oh my god! Oh my god, I know what I forgot. I know what I forgot. Oh shit, I forgot the frostbite. Yeah, I forgot the frostbite. No wonder it felt something like off. The frostbite is an excellent spell against the divine bubble Andes, who abuse divine bubble. Because it, like, the thing, divine bubble is uh, saving you from death. And, like, last breath is also the same concept. It's a spell that, like, keep you alive. Oh, oh <laughs> I forgot roar, dude! Wait, I forgot roar! Wait, I forgot roar! Uh, I'm gonna learn roar here. Fuck, dude, okay, of course roar. It's a fucking roar, man. I forgot a fucking roar. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, man. The most important thing. The strength heroes have no armor, so you need to get armor from something. God fucking damn it. Oh no. I, I, I will need to incinerate right now, right here. I'm fine, I don't know why I freaked out. Yeah, incinerate was necessary though, but... Oh, shit! Yeah, the problem is that I need to unlearn transmute. I need to unlearn transmute now. To fit in everything. But... I guess it's fine. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's upgrade learn ability. So I'm, I have maxed out pillage. It gives you gold per kill. Now I'm increasing the learn ability. Gives extra experience per kill, so yeah, all the basic stuff. Um, learn ability, learn ability, learn ability, learn ability. Alright. Um, yeah, maybe I can, maybe I can do without Roar for now, I don't know. Yo, people are actually looking very weak. Yo, maybe I could have killed them. Maybe I could... Nah, I don't know though about that. Yeah, okay, I have very garbage attack speed. My hero is the definition of the garbage attack speed. This guy was really strong. I'm, I'm glad he's out. Fifty block. Guy, that guy. I'm not gonna beat him. I'm not most likely gonna beat him. I'm most likely not going to beat this guy either. I can beat maybe Zazio. It's gonna be harder. Nah, I mean I I can beat him if I research Roar right now. But I know. But I will need to do it eventually. I'm just I don't wanna waste with transmute. Okay, fuck it. Let's go right now. Let's go research roll right now. And probably incinerate level one. Or like level two. Let's go incinerate level two. Ah, there is no way I'm gonna beat red. If I'm against red, of course. Yeah, I'm against red. This guy is fucking 134 agility and 400 damage. I, I I'm really like I'm really powerful on greed right now, but yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait a second, wait, wait. The incinerator is working. Come on, 
Holy shit! Dude, I have 50 agility, like 95 damage. What the fuck? Dude, this is like a low budget ghoul and it wins against this red. Holy moly, man, like... This is... He had endurance aura. On top of 134 agility attack speed. I guess it's just HP difference and like the fact that I have this little life steal. Oh yeah, true. Wait a second, my passive. Wait, my passive. I I, I kind of meme that it's so garbage, but in reality it's actually not that bad. Yeah, my my passive is like 12 damage per level, right? So it just doesn't show up. But right now I w I have like plus a lot of damage. Yeah, it's um, it's 204 damage, right? It's 404 damage on each hit. And I also have lifesteal 204 from that each hit. Is that correct? I feel like my math is correct, yeah, so... Wait, I didn't, yeah, I didn't actually think of that. Alright, never mind, I guess. Not that big anymore. I know why I increased income. I need the agility rings now more than anything and roar. I'm so stupid. Yeah, I need the agility rings. And because they're gonna increase my... They're gonna decrease my block. Because of that I will need higher level of roar. Like already right now. Well... Not exactly, okay, now I can increase creeps. I can increase income. So I'm I'm getting the agility rings because... At 400 agility I will have maxed out attack speed, so... Okay, we are pumping up, we are pumping up. Uh, I don't want to get too much into Incinerate, because I will get uh, Step of Power. Step of Power makes your damage being magic, like you are hitting with spells basically. And Incinerate doesn't work with it, because when he reduces physical damage. You really need... Um, the Step of Power. Because they're, they're gonna be creeps with um, Thor's aura, and unless you have Avatar or you deal magic damage, okay, spells, like they're gonna kill you. Like the more damage you have, they're just gonna punch you back with that damage. Thor's aura creeps are the nastiest thing ever, so I I need it as early as possible, because like I will get rid of the incinerate then and get cleave instead. You can you can use cleave on spell damage. That's fine. Okay, it costs only 13k, so we can get a bit of income if it doesn't hurt. All right, let's go. I'm gonna get it now. Increasing mana with spare glory. Um, okay, these two guys fight. Holy fo moly, he has Phoenix. Phoenix and Mega Lux, so he's gonna be summoning lots of Phoenixes. Yeah, it's a Phoenix build. Alright, that's interesting. I like the creativity. This guy is doing the blood build. What I could have done, for example. But, yeah. He needs to lifesteal a lot to get strength. Increases the hero's strength by 132 when he... Oh no, it's 132 for every blood spell it has. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's garbage. 
I the grand guy with envenomed spears free, level 36. Mm. So he has like a bonus. He has bonus a lot of strength early. So I just have to wait until it expires. See now it expired. Much easier fight. I just tried I try to man it up, you know, I try to man it up basically. Like maybe I could fight him without uh, without waiting additional time. And yeah, Mortar, for fuck's sake, I didn't answer the question. So Mortar has an aura plus 2% damage each level, I think, obviously. So right now he's level 50, so he has 100% extra damage. Uh, that's pretty neat, yeah. So if you stack up intelligence, you're gonna be like pretty strong. Pretty strong. So now I'm gonna always have that item, the Step of Power. Gonna help me creep. It gives you. It actually gives you nothing except makes your damage magic. <laughs> like, not even plus damage or anything like that. Um, and yeah, I, I need now creep. Alright. Why is text so big? I don't know. Yeah, they made it very big. <laughs> the text is huge, dude. <laughs> it's like half a fucking screen. I like my build, just maybe net was too much, but whatever. Oh, invulnerable creeps. Come back, dude. This is very annoying. A movement speed. Yeah, I mean agility growth is good, but if I if I like run around so slowly. Input of speed for now. And I want to contest the uh, extra experience that people get, so let's start getting more damage. Let's start getting more damage. Mighty Beast with the Phoenixes is the scariest guy. But against everyone else, we can probably contest the creeps. Like, yeah, right now, see, like, I was a little bit faster than last time. Now we increase the cliff. We have 150% uh, of my damage cleaved to other enemies. And I have plus 930 damage by Roar. Just always picks the meta heroes like ghosts, filthy abusers, shut up dude. I'm already like pretty... Okay, I got a bonus experience. I'm, al I'm already like very demotivated, man. Not even Kappa in your message can. Save my day. No, actually, okay, okay. I can, I can see how my passive can be actually not trash. All right, I, I can, I, I will give you that. I can actually see how my passive can actually be not trash. You ready? Um, you life steal by how much damage you deal, right? But what if like the guy has a lot of armor? Then you deal very small amount of damage, so your life steal like of that is very small as well. Isn't that like how you it works? So you life steal a lot from the guys with like low small amount of armor. But if they if they're gonna be like for example with Grant or with Golem with like billion amount of armor, uh, your life steal gonna suck. That's why his special comes. So I have like a guaranteed 12x my level damage. Like I feel like it's a pure damage of I don't know. And lifesteal of that, like the same amount of lifesteal. I forgot to press roar. And I didn't finish first because of that. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy makes interesting build. Yeah, this guy has an interesting build. Yo, he's actually playing my build. He stacks up agility and goes for air force. Wait. Wait, this is actually my build. The guys who watch me, like, you know, right? Like, it's literally my build. He has a cyclone and a monsoon. Monsoon instead of stampede. But that's basically the, the fucking. My it's my build. 
Like, no one usually plays Air Force with the Cyclone, but this guy does. Damn, okay. I just waited until Yellow's passive disappeared. Why, why, why Yellow just doesn't run at him, like, full speed? The guy had 55x20. Like, 1.1k strength on the start of the fight. For 8 seconds. And that much damage as well. And he didn't run at red full speed. Is he fucking Pepega? Like, what, what is wrong with you, dude? Like, you just, you, you had to run and, and hit him. Now he waited until, like, it expired. So stupid. Alright, the battle of the gods. The mortar team. Holy cow, dude! One punch, man! I think it was... What was it? Cruelty. Yeah, he dealt 3.5k. I mean, I mean, no, 3.5 his damage. Oh shit, it's Phoenix Low 8. Ah oh, shit, it's Phoenix Low 8. Dude, I stand no chance. Can I even hit it? Why don't you summon your... Wait, why don't you summon your Bjorp? Huh? I don't really get it, but whatever. Decided that he would lose, but why? Why he thought he would lose? Alright, yeah, I, ha I have, by the way, I didn't notice, I have already 400 agility, so my attack speed by now is maxed out. I don't need anything extra for my attack speed. Unless, like, someone gonna slow my attack speed by... Like, I know, slow aura. Uh, we are fine. We are really fine. I don't know if I need higher level of roar. Probably not, so... We should be fine. He just crashed your build. Yeah. I can see that. Uh, let's see how strong we are against creeps. We one-shot them. Yeah, we one-shot the creeps. Dude, how am I finishing so slowly? Fuck off! We have 4,000 income. We are top 3 on experience gain. It's not too bad, I guess. It's not too bad. Okay, one shot in the creeps. That's when you know, like, you don't need extra roar or anything. The first guy to finish the creeps is red. Uh, yeah, Red's passive is Moon Chakrums, so every time he hits, damage is 8 nearby units every time the hero is attacked. Attacked? I thought it was when he's attacking. Moon Chakrum plus 7 damage. So, yeah, he damages everyone with uh, 420 damage. With Chakrums. Haha! Haha! Finish the wave first, man. Easy clap. Now we are top 2 on experience. Nah, this guy is top, top 1. This guy is top 2, I'm top 3. <sighs> what was the frost ability you mentioned before, Zoom? Uh, solo frostbite. It sets the, the cooldowns on the spells of the enemy when you are damaged. So basically you get damaged and... The guy cannot cast the wine shield, for example. You know what I mean? Like you, you disable the guy's ability to cast uh, the wine bubble or last breath. This guy has both. Like this guy knows what he's doing pretty well. Uh, this guy has also the wine bubble. Uh, Zezio doesn't have it. This guy doesn't have it as well. But yeah, I mean, I can I can set cooldown on any spell that they have, basically. So it's effective against anything. Let's increase roar to 16. I'm increasing creeps after they spawn. So I have easier time against the creeps to finish faster. But I get the income, because like when wave finishes, see, like I get income. Some five, five head moves. Zoom stack innovation builds. Hey, I wanna see like what people get. What 
to be honest, yeah, it's too late. It's like kind of slow. I'm gonna increase roar. I have roar low 27. What do you pre what do you have prepared for me? Low 8 Phoenix. Wait, is he going income? Okay, he's going income and not increasing the. He's not increasing the Phoenixes. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? He has 8k gold income. I have more income than him. Dude, I literally have more income than you. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Look how many things he could have summoned. But he, he decided that, like, it's not good enough to kill me. So he didn't summon them. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Alright, the fight of the year. He critted for 30k and wasn't enough. Yeah, the guy... The guy has a lot of armor this time. Poor golem. Huh? Okay. The golem is life stealing well. So he should be gaining strength. Dude, like, the whole purpose of absolute blood is to gain strength when you life steal. When you life steal for 2k... Oh, no, he gains HP. Yeah, he gains HP. It's 4 HP points. If you, if you life steal for 2k, you get uh, 2 HP. 4 HP. Fuck, I should, I should have measured how much HP he had before the fight and after. I'm very curious. Dude, he has 160k HP! <laughs> he has 160k HP, but that's because of his hero. His hero has 600 HP per level. So it's, um... How much? 18... 18... 21k, right? It's uh, 21k now. Fuck, I, I, I can't think. Dude, I did too, ma too much math today already. Can I rest? And then he has 4k strength, which is... 26 Blah. Blah. It's um 108 104 So he has 104,000 from strength More because it's 100, 400 2100. Jeez, I'm melting. My brain is melting. Yeah, I guess the math makes sense why he has so much HP. But it's mostly his strength. So it's not really even his. Um, it's not really even his absolute blood. Uh, no, I mean, his absolute blood gives him strength, so it's his HP, right? Yeah, from that perspective. Oh. It is true. Yeah, we have more income than orange guy. It still sticks to the Phoenix is low 8. Uh, I think the only reason why you're not finishing creeps first is because the creeps are scattered and you are Maria. Yes. Yes, that is true. That is uh, pretty much true, man. Actually, the way for me to finish creeps faster would be to increase my attack cooldown. So there is attack speed and there is attack cooldown. Attack speed basically applied like it's a bonus to your base, to your core. Like, imagine like you are, you are a zebra, right? Then you can get 400% more movement speed to a zebra. But if you are fucking slime, like 400% movement speed to a slime, you know, it's it's still nothing, right? So right now I'm a slime, and I can become a zebra if I decrease my attack cooldown. So I can kill creeps faster because I attack faster. But I don't know. Dude, people are actually dying to creeps, what the fuck? Wait, there are two guys who died to creeps. Weren't the creeps so easy? Did you notice even? Like, what the fuck? The creeps were easy, right? Easy for us. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I literally one punch them, dude. 
Easy clap. We have more income than the guy as well. Like, fuck, wait, what? Wait, wh okay, no, I, I have this still to spend, yeah. Like, he is one round behind me, so. Yeah, I, I have still this to spend. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's Banshees. Yeah, they have magic damage. This motherfucking Banshees, dude. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Um, for PvP right now. Oh, he's dying. Okay. For PvP right now. You got Frostmorn? Motherfucker got a Frostmorn, dude. Uh, uh, lifesteal? Um, there are no spells to be afraid of, so... Oh, he makes it out. He makes it fucking out. The bubble. I could do the same. Easy, dude! Dude! Nice! The last second, last breath increase. So yeah, there was like 5 second time frame when I couldn't die, basically. Yeah, Ank also saved. <laughs> he had a faster attack speed than me as well, and I still hit him faster with my attack speed. So like, I, I respond with the Ank and... Yeah, I just hit him faster than he did me. Like, why we, why he doesn't even try to kill the Grunt? They can understand me. I have fucking net. Like, he can't outrun me, but like, he can outrun Grunt for a while. With the last breath as well. And like, Phoenix has just killed him. It looks like he doesn't even care about, you know, winning PvPs or some shit. I don't know, dude. Like, this shit is weird. Shit is weird, shit is weird, shit is weird, shit is weird. Um. I could increase, I could increase Cleef, maybe I will need it against the creeps. Like the creeps right now will start to be harder, so we gotta be wary of that. We gotta be wary of these creeps getting harder. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, I can see. <laughs> I can tell, dude. Okay, let's max out. I don't really want to max out creep because I will unlearn it. Or well, what you will see, I will do later. But yeah, I just need to do it, man. Okay. Maybe, maybe increase the mega speed. Like, I don't know if I'm doing fine or not. Like, there is a very thin line between, like, I'm fine and then I'm dying, you know? It's hard to tell. Okay. Yeah, crabs are fine. Crabs are nothing. I'm just slow. I'm not getting bonus experience. Like, I have very good income. Dude, this income is insane! Usually the best score I ever gotten is like 34k, 36k. I'm like, look, I'm having 24 already. And I'm being, I will be leveling it until 37, so... My income is nuts. Agree? Oh, I know what I can! I, I, I know what I can upgrade to help me survive. And it's, and it's cheap. Vampirism. I totally forgot about the thing. But yeah, I can just life seal off my off, off my shit, right? Yeah, like this is this is good. Oh shit, man! Yeah, life seal carried. You see, you see, you see my HP jump up and down. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, PvP time. Let's get life steal. Oh, he got the he got the thing here. He will be immune to my damage. Fuck, I didn't buy Ank. Okay, I'm against other guy. Okay, I'm against other guy. So I upgraded the wine bubble. Yeah, so on the beginning of the fight, I will be magic immune. I mean, I will be damage immune, so... Why he doesn't care about PvP? <laughs> Why he doesn't care about PvP? I don't get it, dude. Can you fight? Bitch, you have Phoenix level 20. And lesser income than me. And has mega luck. So he has a chance to reset any spell. And that includes uh, Last Breath, the time frame when you cannot die. And with Mega Luck, you increase your luck of proking the reset cooldown of the Last Breath. So that's why you need uh, the Soul of Frostbite. So you, you set the cooldown on the thing that he tries to reset and keep him a self alive. Big brains. Is the recent cooldown more expensive? Yes, it's 55 foot per thing, so it's very expensive. It is uh, very, very expensive. Uh, dude, probably gonna be my armor. But I feel like I'm gonna be stacking universal chain mails for armor. Yeah, I'm gonna be stacking this. This is gonna be my armor late game. Alright. Look how big she is. So basically, you can, like, if you cast an avatar in PvP, then, like, and it doesn't wear off, the duel ends, you become bigger. So it's a big boy. Very big boy. He won against the grand guy, eh? Ooh. Very evasion, evasive uh, ogres. Okay, we have uh, 29,000 income. This is gonna be the last time I push income and then, yeah. We're gonna start fucking buying stuff and... And so on. Are actually, oh. yeah, they're gonna be a move that I will very dislike, but it's very important to make, I think. So I need more levels, and to do that, I will unlearn pillage here. Pillage cripples learn ability for me to get experience, but then I need roar back. So it's a lot of gold wasted, as you can see, as you can tell. Clip level 12 is not even good. Yeah, so Holy Enlightenment uh, is uh, your XP carry late game, and Learn Ability gets crippled by Pillage. So I remove Pillage now that I have 32k gold income. Does it make sense? Just in case, cause like, I, I, you can see I'm struggling against the creeps already. But the play is even not that. Holy Enlightenment gives you the missing experience to your two levels. 30% to the next two levels. And there is a thing that resets it. Where is it? The urn. The Book of Zezio. There you go, so XP. I don't have enough brains. My goal is too stupid. It costs 10k mana. My goal is literally too fucking stupid. Okay. Um. Um. Let's increase mega speed. 
I'm again <laughs> I'm against the orange again, who doesn't care about PvP at all. Fuck man. Oh! Oh! Okay. I will lose most likely, but I'm gonna give it my best try. Yeah, that's why we need Frostbite. You see, like, he had infinite invulnerable frame, right? He had infinite in invulnerable frame. I'm gonna remove it from him by achieving the Frostbite. The problem is Phoenixes. Alright, do I need Frostmorn? I kinda need to sell it. I kinda need to sell you, dude. Yeah. Let's sell it. For now. I, I need more experience. So yeah, I'm getting more mana. This is a bad number. Uh, ideally, I have 41k mana. Yeah, something like that. So I can cast this thing four times if I proc it with Book of Zazil perfectly. And I can upgrade something more. I have mega speed level 20. Let's go... Level 27, I guess. Okay, so spam experience, spam experience, spam experience, spam experience, spam experience. Now kill the creeps. It's bad that I don't get this bonus experience because of that, but it's fine, it is fine. Okay, now I need... Let's go... Upgrade all the spells on my list. So Ancient Teaching, Mega Speed, maxed out, Last Breath, Last Breath, maxed out, Bubble, almost... Oh fuck, spam, 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 spam. Nice. Yeah, so that's why I'm low 152, while red is 119. So he had my old build, if only learn ability and pillage, and here I am shining. I am getting more experience, and more experience mean I will have uh, more strength later on. So. Okay, so Bubble maxed out, Vampiric Aura maxed out, Net maxed out. Actually, I have everything maxed out. Yeah, I have fucking everything maxed out. Unlucky. Only two procs of Orb. And I, I got bonus XP. Nice. That's important. That's very important. Okay. Dude, this guy is big. That's a big chunky boy. That's a big chunky boy, eh? The problem is that I kind of want to get Frostbite to win the PvP. What are my final items? It's gonna be Frostmorn. It's gonna be Frostmorn. These guys have... They don't have even that much HP. I probably can kill the Phoenixes, right? So I can clearly hit them. Maybe I just can kill the Phoenixes. Agree? So focus on damage and not defense build? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna greet more. I just, I don't wanna remove these spells yet. I don't wanna remove them yet. I know I will have to deal with these phoenixes, but what if I kill all of them? Maybe I can just kill all of them. Uh, 
Let's go something like that, maybe. So yeah, this thing gives 10 strength for each level I have, and I was boosting levels, so... I'm against this guy. Okay. Yeah. yeah... I could get rid of the cleave. And get myself maybe a magic crit. A magic crit would boost my damage a lot. Even like low 1 magic crit. This guy is not even that strong, like I know, why why, why the Grant is struggling? I would shit on him. Like look at his agility, like people love dude, like his damage is bleh. This is a chat ghoul compared to like a, a beta huntress. But the guy with the phoenix is... Ah. Uh. Alright. We're gonna start with Roar, so reset the cooldown a bit. will kill him. Motherfucker, motherfucker. Alright. I don't have much slots now. <laughs> oh, I got Urn. Just what I wanted. Ah, uh, my items, late game, my items, late game, my items, late game. They have kind of a lot of evasion. I don't know, dude. Maybe I get rid of the boost of speed. Do need boost of speed? I need boost of Zazio. In book of Zazio, man. Maybe I will get another proc on this shit, you know? But you don't have an absolute spell. Oh, 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 yeah, you're right. You're right. But what should I get? And will I have gold enough for everything I wanted? Uh, happy absolute blood. I have, I have few blood spells. Yeah, you're right. I always forget about the thing. Um, I should have gotten it earlier, though. <laughs> I feel like I should have gotten it earlier. But it gives me strength for each spell of blood I have, and I have. Two. I feel like three because this one also counts as blood spell, right? Uh, anyway, okay, okay, okay. Enough is enough. I need my final build now. So let's think about it fast. So for items. Okay, let's let's work on items first. So I want these. Probably second one as well. 
It's gonna be my armor. An evasion. There's not, not, there's not much magic, it's just phoenixes and attack speed, right? So I don't need... I don't need anything like that. There's avatar and spell resistance, so I probably drop stuff of power. So I have two more slots. Frostmourne, yeah, fucking, I forgot Frostmourne, dude. Okay, it's gonna be Frostmourne and maybe one more axe of glory. Axe of glory. Okay, so. Axe of glory. Now. For movement speed, because we are slow as fuck, we're gonna get Blink. Against with Zezio BS, that he can bubble himself. I mean, like, last breath and bubble himself. This can't, no, he doesn't even have bubble, dude. We're gonna get Frostbite. We have two more slots. We have two more slots. Everything is maxed out. Could be damage? Could be bash because it's base of strength as well. Could be avatar. Hmm. Sure I need just damage, right? So if I'm going, I'm going, if I'm going damage, what first comes to mind, critical strike. The only thing I'm scared of is not having enough damage. Maybe ice armor, maybe reincarnation. Maybe fire. Yo! Yo! Fire Force! The Phoenix's proc Fire Force on, on Zezio. And I have a lot of strength, too. True. Wait, did I have great agility? No, okay, I didn't just click that. Alright. I mean. Also, I upgrade this thing. It gives me. Wait, I have 300. <laughs> I have 300,000 HP. So this thing also gives me like 1k extra HP. Uh, he's gonna make a lot of phoenixes. Dude, piss off. I'm not interested in fighting anyone right now. Dude, like, you wanna fight me? Fucking stupid cock lord, dude. Why, why, why? Why, why you wanna fight me, man? Let's go! <laughs> he damaged me a lot though, he damaged me a lot with those phoenixes. Holy fuck. Yeah, normally the guy would... You, you bring him to 1 HP, last breath activated. Then his luck activates last breath like 10 more times, usually. But yeah, the, the thing that sets his cooldowns to like uh, 2, 2 seconds or 1 second. Basically, he couldn't... Use the last breath because of that. Yeah, like, there is a stronger guy who abuses this thing uh, way more than this gentleman, so... I will need to... We, we, we will need, like, later to prepare against uh, a stronger opponent with the similar build. So this was a warm-up, I guess. Alright.
Cool game. Cool game.